The night began with excitement. I had been looking forward to the horror movie premiere for weeks. As I stepped into the old movie theater, the scent of buttery popcorn mingled with the faint mustiness of aged carpets and seats. The theater was one of those classic, almost regal venues with high ceilings, ornate moldings, and heavy red velvet curtains. It had seen better days, but it still held a certain charm. I bought my ticket and grabbed a large tub of popcorn, the buttery aroma filling my nostrils as I made my way to the screening room. The theater was dimly lit, the only illumination coming from the red emergency exit signs and the flickering advertisements on the screen. I found a seat in the middle, perfectly positioned for the best view. The room slowly filled with other moviegoers, their chatter creating a low hum of anticipation. As the lights dimmed further, a hush fell over the crowd. The preview started and I settled into my seat, the plush fabric slightly worn but still comfortable. I could feel the slight stickiness of the floor beneath my shoes, remnants of countless spilled sodas and dropped candy. As the main feature began, the air grew colder, the scent of popcorn now mixed with an inexplicable chill. I pulled my jacket tighter around me, trying to shake off the sudden unease that had settled over me. The movie was intense, full of jump scares and eerie music that sent shivers down my spine. I could feel my heart racing, my palms growing sweaty as the tension built. About halfway through the film, during a particularly quiet scene, I heard a faint whisper behind me. I turned, expecting to see someone talking, but the seats were empty. Puzzled, I shrugged it off and turned back to the screen, but the whispering continued, growing louder and more insistent. It sounded like a multitude of voices, overlapping in a cacophony of hushed tones. My pulse quickened and I glanced around, trying to locate the source of the whispers. To my horror, I noticed that the people around me seemed oblivious their eyes glued to the screen. It was as if I was the only one who could hear it. The voices grew louder, more distinct, filled with words I couldn't understand, but their urgency was unmistakable. Suddenly the screen flickered and the film stopped. The theater was plunged into darkness and a collective gasp rose from the audience. The emergency lights flickered on, casting a ghostly glow over the room. The whispers were now deafening, surrounding me, echoing in my ears. I stood up, my heart pounding, and looked around frantically. Then, I saw it. A figure at the back of the theater, shrouded in shadow. It moved slowly, deliberately, its eyes glowing faintly in the dim light. The whispers seemed to emanate from it, growing louder with each step it took towards me. I felt a cold sweat break out on my forehead and my breath came in short, panicked gasps. The figure continued to advance, and I could now make out its features. Its face was twisted into a grotesque mask of malevolence, eyes sunken and hollow. The air grew colder still, and I could see my breath misting in front of me. The smell of decay filled my nostrils, a putrid, sickening scent that made my stomach churn. I backed away, Stumbling over the seats, my eyes never leaving the advancing figure, I could feel the cold seeping into my bones, a paralyzing chill that made it hard to move. The whispers turned into a chorus of anguished wails, and I clamped my hands over my ears, desperate to block out the sound. I reached the aisle and bolted for the exit, my heart hammering in my chest. The door seemed impossibly far away, and I could hear the figure's footsteps behind me, slow and deliberate. The smell of decay grew stronger, and I gagged, fighting the urge to vomit. I reached the door and pushed it open, the cold night air hitting me like a slap in the face. I stumbled outside, gasping for breath, the whispers finally fading into the night. I looked back, expecting to see the figure following me, but the doorway was empty the theater silent and still. Shaking, I made my way to my car, my mind racing. The air outside was fresh, the scent of pine trees and damp earth a welcome relief from the stench of decay. As I drove home, 
I couldn't shake the feeling that I was being watched, that the figure was still out there, waiting. That night, I lay in bed, unable to sleep. The events of the evening replayed in my mind, and I could still hear the faint whispers echoing in my ears. The smell of decay lingered, a phantom scent that refused to dissipate. As the years passed, the theater was eventually demolished, replaced by a shiny new multiplex. But I never forgot the smell of decay, the cold chill of the air, and the whispers that seemed to come from another world.